All right. Well, good morning. It is Thursday morning, December the 15th, right? Yeah, December the 15th. And I am coming on here to do a very quick live recording, not live recording, but actual recording of my criteria in a live stream format, if you would, of my review of the Criterion Collection edition of The Velvet Underground, the Todd Haynes documentary, a rockumentary. This is an edition that just came out this week, and I had to come on here and share my thoughts on this title. And I'm going to do it in this StreamYard live stream format, just so I can get my thoughts out there to you about what I think is one of the best music documentaries that I have seen ever, basically. I, I love music documentaries, and I had a chance to go through this documentary this week, go through the special features, and I have to tell you, I definitely need to come on here and share my thoughts on this amazing piece of work from Todd Haynes of a music group called The Velvet, or, or Velvet, or The Velvet Underground. What an amazing group, what an amazing story. And Todd Haynes does a great job of conveying that story and telling how this band came together in this amazing kaleidoscopic documentary. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna read the description on the back of this Criterion case, but don't you just love, I just love the imagery here. It's like this got this back, the sort of backwards uh, view, but it's kind of funny because the way this is recording is actually showing it, showing it the normal way. But when you see the case, it's like presented backwards. And you had the velvet, the velvet underground on the back. But let's read the back of the Criterion case. It says here, emerging from the primordial soup of glamour, gutter sleaze, and feverish creativity that was New York's 1960s underground culture, the velvet underground redefined music with this at once raw and exalted blend of experimentation and art damaged rock and roll. In his kaleidoscopic documentary, The Velvet Underground, and kaleidoscopic is a really important word that I'll get to in just a second that really describes the imagery that you're seeing in this movie. Todd Haynes vividly evokes the band's incandescent world, the creative origins of the twin visionaries Lou Reed and John Cale, Andy Warhol's fabled factory, and the explosive tension between pop and the avant-garde that propelled the group and ultimately consumed it. Never before seen performances, interviews, rare recordings, and mind-blowing transmissions from the era's experimental cinema scene come together in an ecstatic swirl of sound and image that is to the traditional music documentary what the Velvets were to rock. Utterly revolutionary. Great summary on the back of this Criterion case here. And I'll go ahead and crack this open and let you see what's on the inside. Check out the inside here. Check out the disc art. And this is the included pamphlet. And this is some of the imagery on the inside of the case here. But you'll see here that you get a staple booklet, which is really cool, the Velvet Underground. And you'll see that when you fold it out, of course, you have some really nice art on the inside which is a huge part of this film, just the kaleidoscopic art that is presented. It is just so abstract and, and avant-garde in, in its presentation and its you know, psychedelic imagery. But check out, when you fold it out, it's like a poster here. Fantastic. And you have the listing of the principals, Lou Reed, John Cale, Mo Tucker or Maureen Tucker, Sterling Morrison with Nico and Andy Warhol. So those are your principal players for the Velvet Underground. And I was really blown away by this documentary. I love the music documentaries that Criterion has in the collection, like The Last Waltz, like Give Me Shelter, and several other music documentaries. And the Velvet Underground is the latest in that long line of excellent, excellent documentaries on musical groups that are now in the Criterion Collection. So if you're a music fan, if you love music, you may not be the biggest movies person, but you're a huge rock and roll music person. There's a whole line of Criterion Collection editions that, are, that should be right up your alley. And the Velvet Underground is one of the first ones you need to pick up because it is absolutely extraordinary. And part of what makes this documentary so extraordinary is the way that Todd Haynes presents the imagery in this movie. It's, it's kaleidoscopic in the way he brings together all these different images from different 
from different sources. And he just does an amazing job of presenting, of telling the story with this inventive uh, presentation of the scenery and telling you the evolution of this band and how they came together and the principal players tells you a lot about their background and what led them to get to the point of, of forming this band. And he shares in a fair amount of detail their story and shows them telling their story, you know, ba ba based on archival footage from the 1960s for those who are still alive telling their stories today in, in, in the present in present day and just relating the fact that these were some young people in the 1960s who were gifted musically who had a vision for what they wanted to for, for what they wanted to bring to the world in the form of music in the form of art but they were also very damaged people and and imperfect people and you see those warts and those blemishes as well um, in the artistic process, in the process of bringing the band together, seeing their artistic process you know, unfold, seeing the challenges that they faced, going through and navigating the musical scene of New York City in the 1960s. So you get a good flavor of the music scene in New York City during that time. And this film just serves as an amazing time capsule of the period, shows the formation of the band and how they came together, their personal challenges, their challenges professionally working together. And it's just presented with some amazing, amazing imagery. Let me just sort of show you a couple of couple of things here. So here you see what I'm talking about in terms of, you know, the background imagery, you know, with the belt, with the cover here of the Velvet Underground. This is, of course, directed by director Todd Haynes, who also directed Safe that starred Julianne Moore. And this is the band here. These are the principal players here, of course. You know, as I said, you've got, you know, Lou Reed and John Cale were the main thrust of this band. They were the they 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 were the main creative forces and and organizing forces for bringing the Velvets together. You have Maureen Tucker who was on the percussion, so she was the drummer. She is still she's still alive, and you see some footage of her in in current day interviews talking about experiences with this band. Sterling Morrison was a part of this band as well. So these were the main four players that were part of the band. This is John Cale in current day, you know, relaying his experiences of, of the band. So you hear about him in this documentary. He gives some incredible perspective about how the band was put together. He talks about himself and, and his creative process. And of course, part of the story of this band was, you know, there was a, there, there came a period where they had to sort of break off certain members and exclude a certain member from the band. I won't spoil that, but you do hear that story in the Velvet Underground. So really, really good. So this is John Cale. This here is Nico. Nico was a model. She was in this movie from 1960. So a few years before the band came together, she was in Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita starring Marcello Mastroianni. So she was in this film. She played a small role in La Dolce Vita. And because of her, of her, of her looks and her beauty, they wanted to bring her in the band. Andy Warhol, who was part of organizing this band, and this is Mr. Warhol right here. He, of course, is the experimental artist. Who had, he had a factory that featured his creative works and his esoteric way of of, of of presenting art to the world. He was very instrumental in in pushing the Velvets along and and basically sponsoring the Velvets during the during the mid 1960s. He was also big. He played a big role in bringing Nico on the scene and bringing her into the band. And even though she didn't possess a a lot of musical talent. They brought her in the band because they noted that, you know, this band is very talented, but they're not the prettiest band. They're not really an attractive band. So they needed to add that element, um, you know, of allure to the brand, uh, to the band. So they brought Nico in and uh, she, you know, came in, she was able to sing a little bit and they were able to incorporate her in 
in the in the band. So they talk a little bit, or actually quite a bit, about the experiences of incorporating Nico in the band and why they did it. And that's a big part of the story of the formation of the Velvet. So I thought that was interesting. Of course, you have here Andy Warhol. He was he was a big part of it. And you see the band members from the 1960s. And that's one of the great things about the Velvet Underground is you is Todd Haynes did such a great job pulling together footage from the time, from the 1960s, archival footage, avant-garde, you know, pieces of, 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 of movie clips. And he spliced it all together to make this amazing documentary. And he presented the imagery in such an inventive way. Of course, this is New York City during that period. I think that's back in the 1960s, or it could be current day, but you know, here you have another another key player whose name I will look up because I'm bad with names. But this gentleman here is named Jonas Mikas. And so he expresses, you know, his take on the band. He was involved with working with them at the time. So you get his perspective. But this is an example of the kaleidoscopic imagery that you're getting in this film. And he just does, he being Todd Haynes, the director, did an amazing job of pulling together all these images, really uh, 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 choreographing the imagery with the music that was being played. So you had performances that were going on, you had music that was being played on top of the imagery that you're seeing. And oftentimes you would have the imagery flashing before you and it's flashing to the beat of the music. And he does it in such a, it's just so on point the way he pulled these images together. So really, really enjoyed that. He basically edited to the beat of the music and he did a really, really nice job of that. So I think that this documentary does a really nice job of telling the story of the Velvets, how they came together, it talks about each of the band members and their story of how they came to be a part of the band, it talks about their personal challenges and the fact that Look, all these people were on on speed or some or some type of, of a drug, one type of a drug or another, whether it's speed or LSD or heroin or whatever. They were all drugged out, but they were incredibly talented. They knew what they wanted to do musically, and they were able to bring some incredible music to the world. And this documentary does a great job of telling their story telling the story how they came together and also giving us a good glimpse of the music scene in New York City in the 1960s. And I just really enjoyed hearing from all the people, whether it's Lou, Nico, John Cale, Maureen, who was on the drums, Mary Warrenoff, who was also you know, part of the extended, uh, extended team, and just a great job of bringing together multiple art forms in bringing this documentary together. So overall, this is just a fantastic documentary. You see some some of the scenery from you know the concerts, how they were able to use different different lighting and projecting different images, you know, on the screen. It's just it's just amazing work. Here you see a gentleman here. And but yeah, so overall this is just an absolutely phenomenal Phenomenal film. I think the film itself, and this was made in 2021. So Todd Haynes pulled together all of this footage, the archival footage, current day interviews, performances from the 1960s, different images from Andy Warhol. So some of his art is incorporated into this documentary. And he just brings it together in a fantastic kaleidoscopic, psychedelic, you know, compilation of images and sound that make this one of the best musical documentaries I have ever seen. So this comes highly, highly recommended as a documentary. In terms of the supplemental package from this edition from the Criterion Collection, fantastic, fantastic collection of supplements. You have an audio commentary on here that features Todd Haynes and the editors. So the editors do a really nice job, again, of bringing all this material together and editing it in a way that, that makes it work as a complete work of art, of telling that story of the band, presenting interesting imagery, showing you things that were going on in the 1960s, current day, 
and it just it comes together so incredibly beautiful, uh, beautifully. You have some outtakes of interviews shot for the film. So you have interviews that feature Jonas Mikas, Jonathan Richmond, who was who was a musician as well, and actor Mary Warnoff, who was involved with the band. You also have interviews with Todd Haynes and John Cale and Maureen Tucker. And there's uh, with the writer Jen Kelly in 2021. So it's one of those Zoom calls that they do. So you do have you know one of those like four panel Zoom calls that feature John Cale, Maureen, uh, Maureen, who was in the group, as well as um, as well as uh, Todd Haynes, the director. And that, and that was moderated by writer Jen Kelly. So that's a nice Zoom call. And then you have some, you also have on this disc, some avant-garde films that were taken during the 1960s that I think were really, really interesting inclusions in, included in here. You also have some optional annotations, annotations identifying the avant-garde films seen in the movie, English subtitles. And then of course, on the inside here, as I showed before, you have an essay. Of course, you have the, the credits and, and who's, who's featured in this film, which includes Lou Reed, John Cale, the lead, Sterling Morrison, Maureen Tucker, Nico, Doug Yule, Jonas Mikas, and it goes on and on. You also have John Waters, director John Waters. He has a little bit of a, a little bit of an interview in here where he talks about this film and talks about this group. So just absolutely. Fantastic. But you have here from Griel Marcus, a ride on the Velvet Underground. So a ride on the Velvet Underground, which is an excellent write-up from Griel Marcus that was originally published in the New York Review of Books in November of 2021. So absolutely fantastic. You have some fantastic imagery in here. So overall, this is just a phenomenal, phenomenal release from the Criterion Collection that I simply cannot recommend enough. It is the Velvet Underground. It is one of the best musical documentaries you will ever see. And it comes with my highest recommendation. As I'm putting together my list or finalizing my list of top 10 Criterion Collection editions of the year, this is an edition that is part of that consideration. Now, I'm not sure if it will make the top 10 or crack the top 10, but it stands a good chance of at least, at least being an honorable mention. That is how good the Velvet Underground is. And it comes with my highest recommendation. If you are into musical documentaries, if you like rockumentaries, this is an absolute no brainer to pick up. The Velvet Underground from Todd Haynes from 2021. It comes in at spine number 1164 in the Criterion Collection. It clocks in at 120 minutes, so right at two hours. And it is one of the best documentaries that you will ever see. Highly recommended. Let me know in the comment section below if you've seen The Velvet Underground. This was, I think, produced or, or uh, put forth from Apple Original Films. So definitely let me know if you've seen this film and if you have, what do you think of it? And let me know what you think of other films from director Todd Haynes. And let me know what you think of this musical group that has featured the Velvets. Let me know that in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.